What's up, everyone? Netherwood back with more Dyson Sphere Program, episode 85. Uh, got my mic fixed. It, I don't know how it gets bumped sometimes. Um, whatever, though. We're going to continue with this quantum uh, chip build, which we really didn't get to, um, but whatever. Okay, we're going to build backward, like I was saying. So let's get going with that. And I want to build pretty much on the equator here. And I need, for the quantum chips, I actually need... Two rows of 12 is what I'm going to do. So I was thinking, let's do it like this. Let me put this down. Let's get um, the belt out right here. And if I do 12, I'm not going to get 12 per second. So that's something we can probably switch in and use one import right here. But I don't really know where the ports are going to line up. That's interesting. So we're going to have to go... Why don't we do this? Why don't we do this? We're going to port it over to here. And it's going to go... Nope. It does not going to do that. It's not going to do that. It's going to go right here and then in there. That means uh, we're going to have two coming in. See, maybe above is better for this. I'd really just rather go in the bottom right here. See how these, the builds where they don't use one logistics thing is kind of a nightmare? Because all the belts start crossing over each other. I don't like that. All right, we're going to go up and above right here. That's what we're going to do. We're going up and above. So we're going to put a splitter in. So let's do that. Actually, it's really lined up exactly how I want to do it. So perfect right there. And then we're going to have two belts coming in. Like so... And then we're going to have another one of these guys right there. Then another splitter because we're going to have another um, belt coming this way. Oops, I didn't shift click. Another belt coming that way. And uh, let's kill it back and put the splitter right there. Boom. Super easy, right? Like that. Nope. Like that. Cool. And then this goes there as well. And then... Oh, it doesn't come down, though. I guess we'll have to do one more splitter. Right here. Like that. Which is going to kind of get in the way of the other builds, but okay. Maybe we should just make it go down and, like, over right there. So it doesn't get in the way of all the other stuff. Well, you know what we can do? Actually, what we should do is this. If stuff crosses over, it crosses over. I'm just going to have to... It'll have to figure itself out. All right, cool. So that's the inbound and outbound. Now, this guy is going to come out like this. We're going to have one of these coming out for sure. Really should just split this off. I could split it right there and just send a bunch of them this direction. Well, really, I'd have to do it after that. Because that's where both of them can work. Hmm. I have a plan. Watch this. We're going to kill that. Maybe kill this back a little bit. We could put... Spl well, we don't need that. It doesn't have to go up and over now because it's nothing's going underneath it. So this guy is going to split. We're going to need a splitter here because it's got to go down. Well, we can kill this a little bit. we got to get a guy doing this, right? Like right there. And then we got to get a guy doing this. Right? So we can do this. So this guy, uh, he's going to go in right here. No, he's colliding. Well, we're going to use Mark 3 anyway. So Mark 3 to there. Mark 3 to there. Mark 3 to there. And then this guy can go this way again. And this guy can go like that. And that will solve that issue. Now we've got this guy who can feed our other system. So that's sweet. He can just go like this. Bam. So the problem really is there. I don't get to use the supply. But I think I'm producing more processor 2s than I am, or I mean, chipset Mark 2s than chipset Mark 3s anyway. We're going to go with this for now. If this doesn't work, I'll pull something off the other um, guy, but I really don't want to consume these ports. I really only have six to work with. 
We gotta pull... Well, we only have to pull two things off of that. It still doesn't have any warpers. That's very interesting. It's demanding them, and it's not getting them. And it has ships now. So that means it does not have enough warpers to go get them. That's really bad. Are we warping these guys around at all? No. So why don't we just put this down to 10%. Go get some warpers, dude. He's like, nah, I'm good. I'm not getting any warpers. Warpers are not for me. Slots are full. Oh, maybe it got warpers. I doubt it. Anyway, okay. So we've got to pull off... Maybe this is a bad way to do it. Let's not do it this way. Let's do this. Let's pull from our inventory. That's really the smart way to do it. So let's just do this. Is that Mark III belt? Yes. All right. Let's just pull out. We're going to take processors out. We're going to go right alongside this so it's not a big deal. Oops, that's wrong. We don't want that. Uh, we're going to hook it up, up to that. Perfect. And it's coming out of our storage, which is, again, very good. Right? Let's upgrade this belt at least. There we go. So when the belts merge, it goes up to a 30 per second. So that won't be a problem. Okay, now we're going to tell this thing, you're making quantum chips. Boom. And we're going to have somebody coming in from here, probably from out. Uh, it'll probably just come straight over. Because the, the ingredients that, that I found that, to run the quantum chips are not used in anything else. So they're just literally going to be built right here and then go right to the quantum chips. There's really no reason not to. So I think the way we're going to do that is we're going to go up and above. We're going to make a little mini bus, which we're already kind of screwed it up because I should have moved this back. I still can. Let's move this back because we're going to need the space, I think. We're going to do a mini bus. So that's going to be that build. Then we're going to do, I don't know, another build right here. Actually, we're just going to start the build on the other side. I don't really like building this way. Ah! <laughs> Isn't this too much space anyway? Yeah, that's too much space anyway. Shouldn't it be right there? This is wrong. This whole side thing is wrong. It should be more like this. Here's another whole episode of me just wasting time. <laughs> this is wrong. That's wrong. This is wrong as well. Alright, let's do, do this guy at least to get it moving. But I really, yeah, we want the bus thing going on, don't we? So we can go up above. Then stuff can come in underneath and we don't care. I like outbounds that are above. So before we mess around, why don't we just copy this and move it down one? Then I can take this out and that'll be the new bus. So then we've got stuff going, uh, nope, going out that direction, right? To there. Perfect. That's the only outbound that won't be elevated. Right? And then, well, it has to be elevated. So it, it's going to have to be elevated. We'll worry about it in a minute. That's annoying. It's super annoying. All right. Uh, let's elevate it way back here, though. That should give us enough room to start doing some shenanigans, I believe. All right. Uh, right there. And then we're going to do another one right here. Like we did last time. But we really want it to still be up. We don't want it to be on the bottom because we have to go underneath it. Huh. Hmm. Maybe the way we do it is like this. Maybe we do it like this first. Yeah, let's do that. And then we go like that on the bottom floor right there. And then we got to go above because this stuff's not going to really work without going above. So one way we can, we can do that is to go like we can just literally move it over to there. But we're going to go this way. We're going to go pretty far. We're going to do the same thing over here. And really this can merge because... It doesn't really matter what we do with it at this point. We can cut it back a little bit because we're going to merge it right here with a splitter. So what we're going to do is make another splitter. We're going to do that. And then we're going to come in right... Let's do it right here. That way we'll save a lot of space. Nope. Why does it do that? 
Damn it. <laughs> All right, go into the top, and you're going to come over like this, and you're just going to come into the side because, again, we don't have 30 per, so it won't really matter. You're just going to come in from the bottom. You don't really care. And then, bam, that's elevated. Exports are elevated. That's the point, right? So the next build we have to do is going to be plane filters, which plane filters are just casimir crystals and hardened glass. And it's 12 seconds each. We're going to make four rows of 24. So we need four of these. So we're going to need two of those kind of rows that we just built, basically. So we're going to have outbound belts, right? Got to leave enough space for the splitters. So let's do that. No, give me the splitter. So let's do that. We have tons of space. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, now let's get in this guy. And then we not we need two of these going this direction. Oh, no. Well, not that anyway. Like that. One more of these. Uh, another one of these splitters, which you're supposed to copy it actually. Like that. Oh, nope, that's not it. Like that. And then another one. Oh, can't do it. So let's just do that. Let's do the trick. Then we can copy this guy and put him. Well, we really should plumb in some. Make sure that this works. Okay, cool. It does work. Does this work? Yes, it works. Does this work? Yep. All right, sweet. Now we got two more of these, right? We got that. And then we have two more inbounds. Like, well, again, not like that. But you get the picture. And then another one of these. And then another one of these. <laughs> and then we'll do another one. Just, oh, okay, it's fine. We're going to split that. Okay, so that's that build. That's the quant uh, plane filters. Then we need two rows of 24 hardened glass and four rows of eight for Casimir crystals. The reason we need four rows of eight for Casimir crystals is we need tons of hydrogen. And we need two belts coming in for hydrogen. So I'm really hoping we have hydrogen right here. Yes. Okay. We need two belts for that. Or do we need four belts? The reason I say this is if you look at the Casimir crystals, it's 12 hydrogen per crystal. Now, the only benefit here, which is not that much of a benefit, is it takes four seconds to create one of these. So I need three hydrogen per second, which means each belt can only feed 10 of these things, 10 assemblers. So I'm going to put eight because I really only need, I think it's 24, but I need four belts of hydrogen coming in. So that's almost going to not be doable, to be honest with, you know, honest with this whole process here. Uh, let's do this because now we're going to need the space. This guy cannot go in right there now. Which we still don't have any warpers, so maybe it doesn't really matter. Alright. Um, there we go. Why don't we have warpers? Do we have warpers? Why are they not getting us warpers? Go local demand. Go get them. Maybe they don't have any. Are warpers out? We're not making any warpers now. All right, we got to fix that. It's got to be fixed right now. We don't have... We, yeah, we have to fix that right now. Warpers have to be being made. Uh, where is... There it is. Well, we're going to slow boat it to this guy now. Because we kind of need to conserve warpers. Uh, but we got to fix that. There has to... There, the spice must flow. Warpers have to be being created. I'm going to guess it's some kind of engine problem. Usually it is. Maybe, maybe I expanded um, the ring thing too fast, super magnetic rings. Maybe that was a problem. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. All right. Uh, where we need to go. That's the south pole. We want to go, okay, that way. Yep, the spice must flow. What's going on here? Why aren't warpers going? Mark twos must be out. I think we're trying to make too many super magnetics. We just don't have the capacity for it yet. Remember that old box with all our old crap in it that we don't even care about anymore? That's funny. All right, what's going on here, guys? Yeah, you're out of Mark II's. Why? Why don't we have Mark II's? We don't have Mark I's or Mark II's. Why? Lots of super magnetics coming in. Well, let's cut that way back. We don't want super magnetics now. we got to go to that planet and cut that off. Do we have warpers? Do we have any warpers? Not really. We gotta take some warpers there too. Let's just drain this thing. 
because it might need warpers and we, we, to get stuff to and fro, right? All right, we're good. We're going to go to Greg Flowers' emergency visit and uh, make sure that we got stuff going on. We're going to cut, cut back on the super magnetics, maybe cut it in half again. Excuse me. Man, that beer is really burpy for some reason. Where's the line? I just created the line. Where is it? Line. Give me a line. All right. All right, let's go. Let's do it. We're going to have to burn one of our warpers to get there, but it's totally fine. Why does it keep saying I have stuff on the ground? It's funny. People are still warping around, though, so people have warpers. They're not out yet. That's good. Because if they were out, we'd be really screwed. If there's no consumption of warpers, that means there are no warpers. That means we're screwed. All right, let's brew out of it. Boom, let's go. Greg Flowers, let's hit it. Why aren't you doing your job, Greg Flowers? No, just kidding. So apparently, I think adding the extra forge and turning on the super magnetics probably was too much. I probably turned it on way too high. So I'll cut it back to like... Well, I don't need to cut back necessarily um, how many are producing. I need to cut back how many we have in storage. Um, we need Greg Flowers 3. Stop. Oh, good. Okay. Can't really do anything about the slowness here. All right. Right there. Land. Land. No, really. Land. Oh my god, what just happened? Land, damn it! Oh my god. That was hilarious. First, let's just turn this off. Let's turn this way down. Um, We don't want 1,200. Let's do 600. He's got 120 warpers, too. Let's cut some of this off. Maybe we don't need so many. Let's cut it off it right here. Well, he's got everything he needs. What's the problem? I don't understand. This guy's got no Mark 1s. Why? Can't keep up on iron. We have two iron forges now. I'm Okay, I'm not getting it. I'm not sure what's going on now. Why don't we have Mark 1s? We don't have enough power? We got, we got tons of power. We have no warpers here. We're running out of warpers, which is weird. It's so odd to me. I don't know what's going on. We don't have any... We have no engines on Endor. And we don't have any iron coming in. There must be... Maybe there's an iron shortage. Is there an iron bar? We're consuming them way faster than making them. What about iron ore? It's not doing iron ore. Okay. Iron ore. Production, way higher than consumption. Totally fine there. I guess we'll go back to nether. This seems okay. I don't see any issue here. Can't get iron bars. So I did turn it off. Turn down the super magnetics. So they'll, they'll be a little more chill now. They're already good to go. We're not produce we're not even consuming over here, so okay. Let's get back to Nether, I guess. The problem is some kind of problem with uh pretty sure it's over here. There it is. Some the problem is some kind of iron thing. I don't know why though. Maybe we don't have enough power on um Cowboy 19 1981. Maybe. I guess let's go check it out. That's strange. Everything seems to be fine on uh, Greg Flowers. Greg Flowers, you're doing fine. Just wanted to tell you that. All right. The problem is elsewhere. It's so odd. It's so odd that we even have a problem. Probably should check the iron thing first, but I'm out of power because I didn't sit in the damn charging station. Ah! <laughs> Well, just sitting here, guys. There's no way I'm going 19 or 17 AU. Dang, I forgot to sit in the charging station. Too concerned about what was going on. Didn't watch my 
my uh power. I'm almost there though. I'm under a light year. Do I pop a thing? How much of this do I have? Ooh, let's put some of this in there. I've got 79 warpers, so it's not like well, I'm gonna refill myself first. You gotta bet that. Better bet on that. What happens if I kill stuff out here? It drops it. It dropped it in space. There it is, right there. You see it? Huh. Oh, I'll just pick it up. It's fine. Alright, I think we're probably good. Let me try to warp one more time, even though warpers are kind of at a premium right now. That's what we're going to do. Alright, here we go. And I think we're going to make it. I'm kind of guessing, so... Cowboy 1981, right? Dang it! <laughs> we're slow boating it. Oh, I gotta remember to recharge. I'm so worried about this problem, though, because we spent so much time on this problem. Now we're having it again. Uh, tab? Does Tab do it? Yeah, let's look at this. Are we making any warpers at all, please? Oh, we're making some warpers now. Oh, I'm having a, I'm having an issue. We're not consuming much power anymore, which is probably good. Actually, we're consuming more than we're making now. How is that possible? We have a problem, and I need to figure out what it is. All right, let's go to Cowboy. We need to go to Cowboy here. Cowboy 1981. Uh, should I just slow boat it? Yeah, let's just slow boat it. I'm not that far away. You know what we should do? We should probably target it. It'll tell us how far. How many, how many seconds? Two minutes. Well, we're not wasting two minutes of camera time, that's for sure. Eventually, I'll get up to higher speeds here as I recharge and, and hit the speed button more. You can see it dropped to under two minutes now. All right, so we definitely have to hang out at the charging station. Dummy. <laughs> Doesn't matter if things are going wrong. You gotta hang out at the charging station, okay? Look at all the stuff warping in and out of there. That's so cool. All right, we're gonna get there quicker than we think. Cowboy 1981 having problems supplying iron, which that's why we have a second iron forge. So I really don't know why we have an issue there. We took care of that. That was the whole point of making the second iron forge was to take care of the, our, our problem. It might be because it's out of warpers. And we really don't have, we need more warper generation. I probably can just expand it. It's not like we don't have enough engines coming in. So I probably should just expand it. I really don't want to, though. It takes a lot, and I have to calculate and do a bunch of stuff. All right, stop. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, man, here we go. Turn around. Turn around. What are you doing? Why are you warping way away now? Oh, I can't even turn. Because I don't have the energy. Now, it's, now I'm just going to be orbiting for life. There's a way to stop, and I don't want to stop because I'm I want the speed. Turn, dude. Can I turn fast enough to catch the planet? Oh my god, I wasted so much time. I look like a newbie. Yes, yes, we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it. <laughs> Please don't slingshot me. There we go. Hit the planet. There we go. Alright, where am I? It's because I gotta fly to the charging station. All right, so I could just go, need to go directly the opposite direction. Okay, cool. Or uh, is it this direction? Wait a minute. Oh, uh, okay. I can go to the left. All right, here we go. What if I had to walk there? That'd be jacked. I'm not walking, guys. I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it, okay? Where's... There it is. The beautiful, lovely charging station. Ah, bask in the glow of the chargers. All right, sweet. Let's figure out, what are you doing? Plenty of stuff. Plenty of, okay, no warpers. See what I'm saying? There we go. No warpers. We don't have enough warpers. I kind of don't want to do anything else till we get this quantum chipset thing set up. Because we really need... Green science to get us a lot more warpers. We're having problems because we can't keep up with how many warpers we need. 
All right, let's go visit the other guy. I'm sure he's having warper problems too. Not really sure why our system is having some issues like that. There we go. There we go. Plenty of iron plates. They're just not getting delivered. All right. Um. Wondering what we should do about that. Let's go back to Rummy and just try to fix our issue. Warper's back to 60 per minute. But look at the consumption. We can't keep up. We cannot keep up with this. And I didn't grab any super magnetics while I was there. Because I really need to make four more of those colliders. Probably. Ugh. I need to expand that whole system. Hmm. Well, maybe I can get to Rummy real fast. Build that thing. And uh, maybe I can... Let's see. I'm trying to find out where... There's Rummy. Okay. Let's go to Rummy. Try to finish our quantum system. And then we can start getting some green science, hopefully, because we really need the quantum chips. We're not going to get green science. And that's really what we need to fix the warper problem. Adding to what we've got now is not the greatest idea. Uh, I'm going to warp over there. We don't have time for this crap. We have four minutes, and I need to fix this. There we go. What are you doing? Let's go. Okay, so there's the North Pole. All right. Uh, all right. We got to do this fast. We don't have time now. Where are our dudes? Where's our build? There it is, kind of behind us, pretty much. All right. So let's get this thing um, thick, uh, stuck in there really fast. We need to do this quick. We don't have time to screw around anymore. We only have four minutes. A lot of what we've done is good. This is uh, this is the quantum chipsets and the plane filters. Four rows of twenty-four. We have a lot on that one. Two rows of 20 for the glass stuff. So glass is, I think, also going to go out the back. We need three things for this one. So we're going to say, you are going in this direction. No problems. That's the outbound. Then we're going to copy the splitter and put it where it needs to be. And then more outbound like this. And then like this. We got three of these coming in for the hardened glass. I'm not sure why it needs water, but okay. It's kind of strange. Um, and I don't think it needs extra like lines or anything. It's just 222. Two, two. It's all under a second. It should be fine. Um, hardened glass is two rows of 20. So, yeah, it's plenty. We're going to have plenty. All right, then we're going to do an out... Well, we've got to do one more of these. Then an outbound, which we need a splitter for first anyway like this, and then we're going to put one in over on the build here. So outbound, and then more outbound. This is going to be Casimir Crystals. Casimir Crystals going to be funny. The, re the way that Casimir Crystals are going to work, if you look at the build, it's really strange. So every four seconds, you get a crystal. Not a big deal. That's normal. But you need 12 hydrogen and six of those other crystals. That's very funky. So the way I'm going to do this is every one of these lines is going to get its own dedicated hydrogen line. And then the two center ones will just be the regular ingredients that don't have to come in very quickly. So the way we're going to do that is, and we're going to have to bring it in. I wanted to bring it in right here, but I'm not sure we're going to be able to now. We could bring it, well, no, I was going to do it like this. So I was going to have an assembler, and then the hydrogen line for this assembler, the um, common lines, right? And then another hydrogen line. And then another assembler. And then an outbound. Now, these outbounds can share. So, totally fine. We only need one because they're not making that many of them. Uh, they're making, let's see, one every four seconds, you got how many? Eight? Like two, two per second. That's not much at all. They can share. Totally fine. So, they're going to share. And then we need four more lines. Coming in. Uh, again, that's totally cool. We'll just do that. And then we need another one of these. And then another outbound. And that will also... Oops. Uh, let's do the splitter. Like this. And then we'll do outbound like that. Cool. That's how the build's going to work. 
So let's get everything plumbed in. Let's start with the Casimir crystals because they take the most. They're going to take four of these lines. We're going to have four hydrogens coming off. I'm just going to preemptively kill this. I don't want any problems. I know actually the lines could have gone right out of this, but I don't care. All right, so let's bring in some dudes, some lines out of here. We're trying to. I'm trying to go fast because we're going to run out of time. We're already running out of time. Let's do hydrogen to... Well, we don't, we're not going to really get in the way. Let's just do it like that. We need four lines, right? And it's going to go to here, and it's going to go in. Then we need another hydrogen. Well, let's kill this. Because we don't want it to flow in yet. We're not ready for that. Uh, we'll do another one over to here. Like that. And then we're going to do another hydrogen line. I'm just going to come off of here to there. And then one more. And that's all of our inputs. Well, for hydrogen. And the thing is, we actually need... Uh, actually, we should do it like this. We should do it like this. This is actually not the best way. So I think with the way we're going to do it is this will be... Well, we've got to split that. We need two inbounds right there. We need 30 per second or what? Let's look. How many do we need per second? Well, I think one line can probably handle the the graphene but we're gonna do multiple lines we have graphene over here yes everything for this build is on this um guy right here which is perfect that's what we want so hydrogen do we have to have four per because that's gonna take up pretty much everything we got over here what else is on this thing titanium which is used in hardened glass i want to say Okay, so that's the next build. I think that'll work. So we're going to do... Well, why don't we do this? Let's let's actually use the inside track for this guy so we can actually use these outside pieces. Let's just tell it to... Um, maybe we should do like this, actually. There we go. And then we're going to do these lines, actually from around the corner. This is going to be hydrogen. But let's not do it yet. This will be hydrogen. And then this guy will be hydrogen. Or whatever the next thing is. This will be the next guy for this build. So we'll put it to here. This will be this one. Right? And then we got another hydrogen, which will be right here. That's not where. Like that. Then this is a hydrogen line because it's going to go to here. Then we have another inbound. Oops, inbound. And we got another inbound. I don't know how we're going to do this. Eight's going to take up like half this whole thing. Is this going to work? It seems like it's not going to work. We got one more inbound, which is a hydrogen. Okay, how many, how much titanium bars do we need? Two every five seconds on this. It should be able to feed, and we only need two rows of 20. We should be fine. One row should be able to do the whole thing. Casimir crystals is the worst part. All right, now let's do... But he needs a lot of stuff coming in. He's going to need water and glass, which come out of the other dude. They're going to go underneath, so that should be okay. This is also something that should be raised. No, it's an inbound, so it doesn't have to be raised. It does need to work, go back a little bit. That's a little too aggressive for us. So is this. So, okay, we got those guys in. Now we're going to do titanium. We're only going to have one line because we're doing one, one input, right? So he's going to go here, over to there, and down. That's titanium. Then we're going to need another set of these guys coming in to do water and glass from the other interstellar so let's let's plumb those in so this guy only is doing inputs for us that's all he cares about and then the warpers which we already took care about took care of so he's gonna go like this 
And then another one right here. And we're almost ready to plumb this whole building, which we're way over the time, so we're going to have to go to the next episode. I'm getting really concerned about, about this. At least we're producing. As long as we're producing, I'm okay. Our system slows down a little bit, that's okay. I'm worried if this gets to zero. That means we're not producing at all, and that's my concern. It looks like electric motor 1s and 2s are relatively under control. Electric 2s are really being consumed fast. I'm not... That's hurting me a little bit. Our energy is fine. I think we're okay. I'm getting a little nervous here, as you can see. Please drop a comment in the comment section if you like this video. Hit the Also, hit the like button. That would really help. I'm going to see you on the next episode. Stay frosty.